spring trends, but only black designers for Black History Month. Let go. Now listen, supporting black designers is something that we should be doing year round. So if you're not familiar with a lot of black fashion brands and designers, hopefully this video will help to springboard you further into that direction. So the trends I found on whowhatwear.com and all of the clothing that I'm going to mention, it will be linked in the description box. So make sure you check that out if you want to look in the shop. Now a note about trends. We do not allow trends to dictate what we wear unless the trend happens to be our personal style. Trends can be helpful if they are your style because when something is trending, you're more likely to find it. Retailers, designers, brands, all of these people are clamoring to get these items out because it's trending and you luck out because if that's your personal style, you got a lot of really amazing items to shop from. But if you are looking for a wardrobe that you'll actually love and wear, any new items that you buy in your closet, like I always say, they need to go with at least five other things that you already own. Otherwise, what you buying it for? All right, so this first trend they call basic instinct and they're talking about elevated basics here. Something that we talk about a lot on this channel. I call them unbasic basic. An unbasic basic or an elevated basic is something that you could theoretically wear every day but it has a little edge, it has a little something, something to it. So an example of an elevated basic might be, you know, instead of a regular button down blouse, maybe you get a button down blouse, but like it's got a cutout in the back or it ties in the back, or it's got like a, a slash here where you could show some cleavage or something, you know? That is an example of an elevated basic. So here are some of my unbasic basic picks that come from black fashion brands and designers. So first up, the shoulder cut bodycon dress from Victor Glamaud. This is essentially your little black dress elevated with the shoulder cut out. This is something that you'd be able to wear year after year. You could wear this a number of ways. I'm pretty sure you have stuff in your closet right now that you could probably style with something like this. So that's my first pick. Next up from Chen Burke at the cellar top. Now this is something where essentially it's a button down blouse, right? But However, it is made to be more elevated with the puffy sleeve and the tie at the waist. And then I had to add this two-piece set from Hanifa. I love a two-piece set because it's just like the gift that keeps on giving. You can wear the two pieces together. You can separate them and mix them match with other things in your closet. This one I really love because of the really cool detailing at the shoulder and you got a little cute little cutout and curve on the waist area. So it can kind of create like that nice little curve and snatch you in. And then my last unbasic basic pick here comes from designer Kimberly Goldson and it's this amazing bodysuit. And this is not only an unbasic basic, but it actually took things to another level because just by adjusting it, you can wear it two different ways. So it's like having two different bodysuits in one. As I mentioned, everything that I'm mentioning in this video will be linked in the description box. Now, next trend is called more than a croissage. Now, if you're of a certain age and you were into certain fashion styles, you probably remember that infamous outfit that Carrie Bradshaw wore. She had the tank top with the flower pin to it. That particular style had me in a chokehold. I remember buying a dupe of it from Express when I was like 19 or 20 years old. You know how they say like if you were of age when a trend first came around, that you should probably skip it when it comes back around again. Yeah, that. I wouldn't want to wear a tank top with a flower on it, but however, I do like this trend, especially this flower top here. See, I like a statement top like that. Like, and I, and I know I've brought up my birthday outfit a couple of times, you know, in, in videos here. However, the Mara Hoffman top that I wore for my birthday very much reminds me of this kind of like motif. You know, I like special occasion outfits that kind of look like like little pieces of art or like a pastry or something. Like, why not? Why, why can't I look like a cupcake? All right, so here are my black designs designer and brand picks. So first up we have the Hebe crop top from Andrea Iyama, one of my favorite brands. This is really cool because I can see this being worn multiple ways, even though it is such a statement piece. I, I wouldn't want to call this a cover up because it's like, what is it really covering? <laughs> but I can see this being worn um, with a bathing suit. I could see it with a tank or maybe a very cute, you know, full coverage bra underneath to go to brunch with the girls. Like this top can take you a couple of places. There's also this top from CC's Closet. CC's Closet is another one of my fave brands. And we have the Fee Noel. Now this is a bathing suit. However, you can wear it as a top. I love multifunctional pieces like that. I actually bought a Fee Noel bathing suit last year. I wore it as a bathing suit, didn't get in the water, but wore it as a bathing suit. And as it starts to get warmer out, 
you know, I'll revisit it and wear it as a top. So these will be linked in the description box. And also let me know so far, how you feel in these trends. We're going to go through a couple more, but let me know your thoughts on the ones that we talked about thus far. So the next trend is called all a blur. And the first brand I thought of immediately when I saw this trend was Kai Collective, one of my faves. I know I keep saying one of my faves, but like literally one of my faves. So this sort of trend is giving sort of like a sophisticated tie dye sort of effect without it looking like, you know, like something cheesy from when we were kids in the 90s. Kai Collective does this really well. They've actually been doing this before. It was like a trend, so to speak. First item is this two piece set. Again, I love a two piece set because it's a gift that keeps on giving. You could wear it together. <laughs> wear it together <laughs> or you can break up the pieces and mix and match them with in your wardrobe. I also love this Kai Collective top. You can wear this with so many things. You can also either button it all the way up if you like that look or button it all the way down and maybe tie it at the waist. And then this Andrea Iyama dress. Now I can see this for vacay, going to brunch. Oh, everything's about brunch to me. Everything is either vacation or brunch for me. It's also beautiful for date night. If you go into a museum, if you go into a show, like, y'all yeah, yeah, know where to go to wear these things. You don't need me to tell you. But let me know what you think of this it's all a blur trend in the comments. And again, all of the items will be linked in the description box. Next trend, trousers every day. And it's giving me modern day Miss Seeley's folks pants. I feel like a lot of us maybe wear statement tops and then keep the bottoms like relatively plain, but I am loving this trend of having statement pants. It really elevates trousers. It like takes it to the next level. So let's look at some pieces. So this first piece is from Andrea Iyama, who I feel like does this like statement pants thing really, really well. And I love how it ties in the last trend with this trend that we're talking about with this particular pairing here. Another piece I'm loving, these paper bag pants from Sammy B. This is a more dressy casual piece, so it can kind of like be a substitute for jeans. So if like you're gonna wear an outfit with jeans, maybe you slap these on instead. And speaking of jeans, here's a really elevated piece from Nicole Lanell's boutique. I just think that's so cool. Like you can wear like how that she has it paired here, very simple top and then just let the jeans do all the talking. You could wear something like this with flats, with a very cool heel. You don't have to think too much about it. Like with these statement pants, just think of, okay, I was gonna wear an outfit with jeans, but maybe these will be my jeans instead. Or it's kind of like, you know, I'm wearing these statement pants, so I don't wanna do too much, so I'm just gonna wear a plain top, so. Let me know your thoughts on the statement trouser trend. These will be linked in the description box. Next up, so transparent. Now this one may be a little risque for some folks, but this is something that you can just dip your little pinky toe into it. You don't have to go full on with this. You can have a piece that just has like a small sheer paneling on it. Like maybe you have on a blouse and it's solid here, but then the sleeves are transparent. You know, give them a little, give them a little shoulder and bicep and bicep. Or you can have something sheer and then you layer something underneath it. And here are my black designers picks. So from Kimberly Goldson, we have the Leah 2 crop blouse. So this has, it's, it's solid here and it's got the sheer sleeves and that pink color is just like, mwah, love that. Fina Well has this amazing top. I love the sleeves. This would also be really cute as like an alternative to like a bathing suit cover up. I mean, you ain't gonna be covered on the bottom, but you know, you could put something else on the bottom, you know? Let me know your thoughts on the transparent trend and these two tops will be linked in the description box. The next trend is called a shoulder skimmer and I am here for these long ass earrings. Now, when you have a statement earring like this, you do not want to do the most with your other accessories. So basically, like if you got an earring that comes all the way down to here, you could probably skip the necklace because otherwise it's gonna be competing for attention or it's just gonna look too busy. The eye doesn't know where to settle and it's just like, oh my gosh, it's got a lot going on there. Also be mind of hairstyle because certain hairstyles plus these big old earrings can add a lot of volume. So if you're looking to like, you know, sometimes people don't want to add volume on the, around the face area. So keep that in mind as well. Plus see like, you don't want the earring to be all stuck in your hair and then it's like rips it out, you know, like that, that's a lot. But here are some of my picks for this trend. These are all from a brand called True Face by Grace. Now we've been wearing the long, big old earrings for a whole while, but let me know what you think of the long earring trend. And of course these earrings will be linked in the description box. So I personally buy from Andrea Iyama, Chen Burkett, Fina Well. And I did find that when I was researching for this video that a lot of the black designers and brands were on like the higher end of pricing. I would love to know about more brands that have maybe more affordable pricing. So if you have some of your faves, shout them out in the comments. Now buying black does not exempt you from this mess. And you can find out what I mean in the next video. I'll see you there.